Welcome to the Harrow College virtual open day session for media and film. Um, if you've not registered for our open day previously, then do please fill out our registration form. The link is in the chat box. This is so that we can send you the recording for this session and keep you updated with information about the college. We have one of our communication support workers with us today, and they'll be providing BSL interpretation for the session. If you'd like to ensure that you can see them throughout, please pin them to your screen. If you have any questions, please type them into the chat box. We will aim to answer those at the end of the session. I will now hand over to my colleague, Vishal, who will talk about studying media and film at Harrow College. Over to you, Vishal. Thank you very much. I will just uh, get my PowerPoint ready as well. Load that up. So yes, hello, good afternoon. Welcome to the wonderful world of media at Harrow College. So I'm gonna be talking for about 10 minutes and introduce you to the wonderful things that we do here at Harrow College within the media department. Let's go to my next slide. Why should you study media and film at Harrow College? Let me answer that for you. We have a large variety of facilities. I think we're very well equipped in the sense that we have studio space here. So when you're filming any of your productions, you have a safe, comfortable environment where you can film your productions indoors. The studio we have also has green screen facilities. So for those interested in visual, special or gaming animation, we have green screen facilities to carry out your productions. As well as the usual classroom work rooms that we have, we have a specialist room where you can edit your videos. And those computer rooms, sorry, those edit suites are filled with Apple Mac machines. The classrooms we have tends to, tends to, tend to have PCs, so you get to ex experience using both Microsoft applications and Apple Mac applications. We're very lucky with the hardware and softwares that we have in the college. We do have professional hardware and software for you to film and carry out your media and film productions. We have cameras, we have camera supports like tripods, gimbals, stabilizers, uh, sliders, jibs. So we're very well equipped with camera support. We also have numerous lighting and audio equipment as well. So you don't need to go out and buy that 10,000 pound camera. We have it here already. Regarding software, we're up to date. We have the latest in professional filmmaking software. For example, we edit with Adobe Premiere CC 2020, and we have a lot of the Adobe applications and softwares. Regarding other softwares, we have all the Microsoft Office packages for you to carry out your coursework on multiple devices from mobile phones, laptops, smart devices, and computers. Last year was a great success for the media department where we achieved certain rates like outstanding attendance. I do promise you a good time once you're on our media course, you'll be engaged, entertained, and having fun every single lesson. Last year, we had excellent attendance rates. Being a very creative course and having loads of studios and independent businesses around us, we do engage with employers. So we do have guest speakers that come in and talk to you about the wonderful world of the media, TV, film industry. And we also have talks that we go to done by people. Some of them even give us tickets to film premieres. So fingers crossed things do calm down with this pandemic and we'll be able to engage you with employers at a film set or at their studios. And again, last year was a great year for our department where we achieved outstanding achievement rates. All of our students achieved top high grades or the grades they needed for their future endeavors, like going to university. One of the most, uh, uh, one of the most uh, positive things is also stated at the bottom where we had the highest achievement rate for high and low needs and hearing impaired students last academic year out of all the mainstream subjects. So that's something we're very proud of. So if you're thinking that media could be challenging, we're very supportive and we achieved that outstanding rate last year.
We have two media courses at Harrow College. We'll start off with level two media. Our level two media course is a technical diploma and it's a 90 credit course. You do it for one year, so it's a one year full-time course. Level two basically equivalents to four GCSEs. So you'll get four GCSEs in media. And I've put the entry requirements there. So once you get your results from your high school or from previous college, have a look and see if you meet the entry requirements for that. Our second course is level three media. This is our A-level kind of vocational program. We do the UAL exam board, and it is a two-year program, full-time program, and you will essentially get three A-levels. And again, I've highlighted the entry requirements at the bottom of this slide there. I'd like to give some information about the level two course, for those who are here and interested in applying at the level two course. There are seven units that we do, and we've broken that down into five projects as listed below. We do a filming and editing unit. This year, students are making TV adverts, so we'll teach you everything about TV advertising. It's not strictly a TV and filmmaking course. We have other creative subjects like digital photography. We'll show you how to take professional photographs with actual cameras, not with smartphones, how to use a proper professional digital camera. We'll also teach you some of the Adobe packages like Photoshop, Illustrator, and teach you about graphic design, where I'll ask you to make your own movie posters. If you have an interest with gaming, animation, visual special effects, the animation project that we deliver is a great introduction into those worlds there. We will explore different animation techniques and you'll get to make an animation of your choice. As well as all those practical projects, we'll do a theoretical unit all year to just develop your knowledge about the wonderful world of media. And we'll look at certain media products and audiences. The animation unit, one of our most popular units that we do. Like I said, you'll learn about different types of animation techniques. We will teach you all the practical skills, and then we will ask you to develop an idea. Once you've developed your idea, we'll ask you to do a presentation on that idea. As well as teaching all these practical skills, we're gonna develop your communication skills, your confidence skills, as well as your presentation skills. We'll teach you how to plan for a type of animation production by completing professional planning paperwork. As well as, like I said, we will develop your skills when it comes to making animations, so production camera work skills, and editing post-production skills. The photography unit. We'll study about different photography fields. For example, landscape photography, portrait photography, still life photography. We'll explore a whole set of photography fields. As well as that, we will develop your camera skills. Again, we're very well equipped. We'll show you how to use a professional digital camera. What do all those buttons do? We'll show you how to use the lighting equipment and camera supports like tripods. And again, you will learn how to plan a professional photo shoot for indoor and outdoors, as well as once you've taken your photographs, teaching you how to edit them within Photoshop and Lightroom, which some of you might have heard of. Have a look at this slide. Here are some examples of some of the photographs students took last year and this year. The large one on the left and at the bottom were taken last academic year when we were learning about landscape photography. And the two in the top right were just taken last week actually, where we done a three point lighting exercise in the studio and somebody brought their own camera to take a photograph of. Very proud of the work we have. They look very professional, but again, we will teach you how to be professional and take professional photographs. Amazing, I know, thank you. Graphic design project. Again, we'll learn about different graphic design products. We will teach you how to use Photoshop CC professionally. Again, develop your presentation skills, 
And the project that students are making this year is that they are creating movie posters based on a movie that you create. And again, we'll teach you how to do everything in Photoshop, how to create your own graphics, how to create your own text, and you could incorporate the, the skills you learn in photography in this project as well. Again, here are some examples of what students have produced in previous years. Some of you are thinking that was all stolen from the internet. Nope, everything was created from absolutely the beginning by the students. The fonts, the graphics, the text, the backgrounds. Again, we will teach you how to do that all here. For the advert project, for the film and editing project, we will look at different on-screen advertising. You'll learn about how to research and develop an idea. Again, we will build your confidence and communication skills with a presentation, as well as teach you how to complete professional planning paperwork and develop your camera working and editing skills. Here is an example of an advert that student made just last academic year, just gone. I hope you enjoy that. Uh, it was one of the best adverts made last academic year. And again, we will teach you and show you how to do professional filming and editing here. So that's about level two. It's a great introductory course into the wonderful world of media. And what many students do is they start from the level two program and then progress onto our level three course. Now I'll talk about our level three course. As I've said, it's a two year course. So I'll talk about the first year first and then the second year after that. So level three, year one, there are eight units and it's broken down into five projects. You'll learn about editing and lighting techniques. We'll teach you how to use Adobe Premiere professionally. We'll teach you about editing theory and how to use the lighting when you're, when you're filming a particular scene. The next bullet point is a Swedish film festival. We get students to make Swedish films. If you don't know what a Swedish film is, that's your homework, check it up. And what we do, we get students to make Swedish films and we enter them in a film competition in California. We've had many of our students participate over the years, but uh, we haven't won it yet. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see what happens this year. We also create podcasts. We make promotional videos for local businesses and we do interactive TV dramas, which is a new thing that's trending on social media and in the film industry. So I have loads of information about those courses, but what I suggest if you'd like to know more information about them, you can ask me any questions or you can find the details on our website. Level three, year two. There are five units and it's broken down into five projects where we look at music videos, documentaries. We help you with your progression here. We do a research project. And then your final major project is you create a video of whatever you want. We do teach you a number of amazing skills here. The most important thing is that we help you with your, prog with your progression. We're not just going to give you all these skills and kick you out of here. We will help you with what to do next. We'll explore universities, apprenticeships, internships, or even starting up your own business. And we'll do things like how to identify your skills and knowledge, and we'll get you ready for future interviews. 
Also, we'll help you create your show reels, business cards, media related CVs, personal statements for university, and how to create professional social media accounts. So, hopefully, this pandemic over is over soon and we can go on some nice, exciting trips. We do go to a lot of studios and premiere screening. We have fantastic equipment that you can use to make your productions. Both our courses are 100% coursework based. There's no exams involved. I might throw in a quick test here and there, but it's all coursework based. Once you've made your videos, we do have screenings and exhibitions for them. And some of our projects are work experience live briefs. So as well as developing your skills, you're getting that experience that you need for the future. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's my pitch for the media and film course at Harrow College. Happy to take any questions or answers or go over any information that you may want extra information on. Uh, I'll stop sharing and pass, you, pass it back to you, Anjali or Natasha. Yeah, thank you, Vishal. Thank you. Um, we hope you found this session useful, everyone. Um, if you have any questions, please pop them in the uh, chat box below and uh, I'll be able to read them out um, and you can ask Vishal uh, any questions that you have. Any questions? Everybody? Okay. Um, when do we apply for level three? So. You can apply via the website and yeah, the courses start in September, 2021. Um, so as soon as you have your predicted grades, I think that's a good time to set up uh, or applying and setting up an interview with myself. We can talk, talk about your future ambitions, why you'd like to study media, tell me your favorite TV, film and show, and hopefully I can offer you a place on our amazing course. Any further questions? Um, no, I think that's it from everyone. Okay, thank you for attending this session, guys. Just a reminder, if you missed our Welcome to Harrow session, it will be available on our website and we will send you a link to that and this recording in the next few days. If you'd like more detailed course information, please visit our website at www.harrow.ac.uk forward slash courses. Our new full-time prospectus will be available online soon. And if you'd like a hard copy, we can email you details on how you can get one with the session links. If you're ready to apply, we're now accepting online applications. So please visit the website. We hope you enjoyed the session and please check out the other curriculum sessions, se sessions we have running. If you're interested in our new T-levels, apprenticeships or higher education through our West London Institute of Technology, join our live session on the 2nd of December. That's all for today, and we look forward to welcoming you to Harrow College. Thank you for all attending. Goodbye. <laughs>